because you've been able to stack a lot of days together. How do you feel like you've been doing since the last time we talked to you? Just, I guess last week. Yeah, I feel like I've been doing good. Kind of just trying to keep up my consistency. So day in and day out, just trying to compete on every play. How do you judge for yourself? How, how fine is the line between being too handsy or being the perfect amount of physical? And, and how much of like thought goes into that every play? I saw there was a you know one flag came out. Like, is it your mission to like take it to the edge of that? Right be as physical as you can without going over the edge, right? Yeah, I think as a DB, um, just trying to challenge every, you know, on every play. And you want to reduce the amount of penalties, but at the same time, you don't want to play timid. So trying to push the line and, and be as aggressive as you can be without taking it over the top. When you watch yourself in the tape after practice, are there some times when you said, I might have taken that one too far? Or how do you judge yourself when you look at that? Yeah, sometimes. Maybe, I guess. Well, how much more confident are you going in year two, and what are some of the things you want to work on? Yeah, I think just playing in as many games as I did last year, I can kind of rely on the, the experiences I had last year, and that kind of gives me some confidence. And then coming in and being able to compete uh, every day, right, your confidence gets gets better and better. But um, maybe just finishing on the ball, right, trying to make sure I can get uh, as many takeaways as possible. Those are important. Yeah, that's one of our strong suits. I think we have a lot of DBs that can come in and compete. If we do have, unfortunately, somebody, you know, be able to step down and not be able to finish the practice or finish the game, I feel like we have a lot of different players that can come in and know what they have to do, but also execute it at a high level. How does a guy like Tyron Matthew factor into the impact in terms of that development? You just talked about coming from year one and year two. Yeah, especially, you know, somebody that I can ask questions and somebody who's been around the league, you know, all decade safety, right, one of the best to ever do it. So for to, to have somebody like that in your corner that you can kind of go to and, and ask for help is amazing. Awesome. What's it like going against Mike Thomas one-on-one? -on -one? What, like, what's the challenge defending yeah, I mean, just a big, physical, strong receiver, catches everything, right? He's, he's definitely going to challenge you, uh, you know, on every play, right? Somebody who's going to compete on every play. So you love going up against him, and you love to have him on your team. The jump from year one to year two, what's going to be the biggest challenge for you in that? I don't know. <laughs> Do you feel a big jump in yourself in year two? I mean, do you, do you feel different than at any point last year? I think I feel more comfortable. Um, so that helps. Uh, I feel like towards the end of the year last year, I was playing pretty well. So I feel like I'm kind of just picking up where I left off. It seems like after drills, you and uh, Alante, Alante, not sure how to pronounce that name. Yeah, Alante. Alante? Alante. Yeah. Alante. Have been pretty, like after each individual drill he has, he's right there asking me questions. Yeah, Tay's great, man. Just somebody who comes in, you know, he beats me out here in practice sometimes. So somebody's going to come in and try to work as hard as he can, ask all the questions, has all the ability in the world. So I'm excited to see, you know, how he plays this year. And I think he can be a great player for us. What's kind of been your biggest piece of advice that you've given to him throughout the game? Biggest piece of advice? Hmm. I think just day in and day out when he's asking me questions and try to answer them to the best of my ability, rely on, you know, the experience I have, but also, you know, letting him know that he has the ability, you know, playing in the NFL is different from college, but at the same time, it's not that different. It's still football, so he can come in and play and, you know, you don't have to wait till the second year to, to play. You can come in and play right away. You can come in and, and contribute right away. What are your impressions about Kirk Merritt? Yeah, he's a, he's a good receiver, you know. Good speed, catches everything. So another guy that we feel like on the offensive side is, is really special and, and has a chance to help us out a lot. How do you feel like Chris Rashawn has pushed your development as well? Yeah, I think just having him uh, in my corner, somebody who's coached a lot of great DBs uh, with this time with the Seahawks, this time with the Cowboys, uh, somebody who could come in, I can ask him any question, he has the answer. 
um, and then also has that credibility factor that he's been around guys that have done it at a high level. So, you know, you definitely have to respect him, and you love to have him as your DB coach. How would you say you and Marshawn rank amongst cornerback tandems in the league? I don't even get in on that. <laughs> Dennis Allen made the transition to head coach, or is he still diving with you guys on the defensive side? I mean, anytime he can give us some advice or help us out, he's helping us out. I think he's a head coach, but, you know, he loves defense, and then, you know, he always wants to kind of help us out as much as he can. So, if that answers the yeah. question. Well, is there, is there a, a mentality? How would you describe the mentality of y'all's defense? I've been asking Cam Jordan and some of the guys on the D-line, but... Uh, feels like you all bullies in a way, both at the defensive back position and the defensive line. Yeah, I mean, we just want to challenge people, right? You're not going to get anything easy, you know, so you're going to have to work for every point, work for every yard. So that's kind of my mindset is that, you know, you might beat me, but I'm going to make it as hard as I can on you, you know. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate it.